Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to reset preferences to the default settings, as well as resetting your interface to the default layout in the CQG desktop platform. Resetting your preferences is a fairly easy process. To do so, head over to your left-hand side of your screen on the sidebar, and scroll down all the way to the bottom left. And under the Preferences tab, we will click on this, and once again, scroll all the way down until we reach the miscellaneous section and click on Restore Default Settings. Click OK. And now all your preferences have been reset to default. Now, as for the default interface, unfortunately, there's no easy shortcut way of doing this. You'll have to do so manually. And I'll show you my preferred method of doing so. So back out of your preferences and head back to your homepage. Now, being that CQG Desktop is a very customizable platform, this part of the tutorial may not be for everyone, as everyone may not like the default interface. But if for whatever reason you like the default interface that is provided or need to get it back for whatever reason, I'll be showing you my process of doing so. So for example, let's say you mess up your homepage. You delete some things, you add some different things, and you feel that you need it back. You can simply add a page by going into the left-hand sidebar and clicking on the home page once, once again. And it will bring up the default layout that was originally presented to you when you first opened up the platform. And you can do this for all the other pages as well on top of reorganizing them. You can also delete the pages so let's say, for example, I accidentally delete a page or I delete it for whatever reason and I need it back. I'll speed up the process here to make it a little less boring. But as you can see, I'm deleting all my pages. So we're left with a blank interface. And now that we're left with a blank desktop, we can begin adding the pages in their original order in their original default layout and settings. To do this, click on the add a page button and underneath the load page section, this is where all your original default pages are listed in their original order. And after I've added them all back in, as you may have noticed, our desktop page now looks the same as it did when we originally started the platform. It is back to default, and although it was a little bit of a process, we are now good to go. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.